using these panels as part of an experiment to try to increase the energy efficiency of homes uh, throughout the north. The, the garage door behind you has two layers of these panels, approximately R62 value in an inch and a half space on those garage. Uh, the wall systems in behind me, the black systems, are interchangeable so that we can test um, different wall systems made by local contractors. And again, um, a lot of low skilled laborers can be used to uh, build these wall systems. And in that corner there, in that um, in the box on the ground, we have a new wall system that is combining heat, energy efficiency, and antifungal properties that we hope will be built here in the Yukon and then we'll bring into communities around the north. Um, so that's, yeah, this is one photo op, and Alicia, Alicia Kinnear has a, a, a much prettier photo op. <laughs> I do, it's true. Your hands might have to get dirty. I'm going to hold this because it's dirty. Um, so at the research center do a lot of climate change research and one of the pieces that we do in particular is quite a bit of permafrost research. So this is a core from along the Alaska Highway. So highway, as you can see the ice lenses through it, this is about a meter below the active layer. And so from the meter below the active layer, what we're looking at and what we're interested in is how much melt and settlement there is when you have permafrost fall. So we, it's interesting because for highways and public works, for every kilometer that's going to come across, it's an extra 22 to 37 thousand dollars per year. So it's quite expensive for the territory in terms of being able to maintain our highways, and 25% of our highways are going to come across. So we are looking at where the areas are vulnerable to be able to help highways and public works for maintenance and for um, construction, and specifically also with net engineering opportunities around being able to build on this type of of permafrost and so this these are ice lenses here and this is all clay and so you can imagine if you were to have some kind of melt the amount of melt that would happen in settlement um and if you've ever driven the northern part of the alaska highway you're probably pretty familiar with what roads, that right? settlement looks like so that's one of the things that we a challenge in the territory and how the research center is um, working with the government to to come up with better ways of addressing so, yeah. So 